the markets in the week bullish. My name's D7 here at Grok Trade, and this is the weekend edition. Good through Sunday, March 20th, 2016. Well, as you'll notice here, we have a lot of faces in the camera. This is our mentorship class. Say hi, everybody. Wave. <laughs> We have four different countries represented here. We have the United States. We have Mexico. Wave Mexico. <laughs> and we have Canada. Wave Canada. And we have United Kingdom. Wave United Kingdom. And we have some others that do not have webcams that are on, but they're listening at this moment. And they're going to be with us as we go through the weekend edition here uh, a couple things on Friday we had a mixed market as you'll see here and then uh, but banks were solid financials solid crude oil continues to rise or I'm sorry US dollar um, has now popped it with the crude oil dropping with gold and silver also off the VIX fear dropping a bit here let's take a look at the daily chart and this is the S&P 500 daily chart. This is the ETF on the S&P 500. You'll see we had this big rally, rally, rally. You see the moving averages. We came up, hit our head at resistance. You'll see that we did a little pullback on the resistance and then we blasted through that. Now we're above all major moving averages. My concern though in the markets at this moment is how extended of a leg that we have here. The full drop that we received here, we're almost back to that level. So this could be a change in sentiment taking place. But the bottom line is this is very extended. I'm looking for a pullback and I'm going to look at some other time frames to see if we can get any com confirmation on a pullback. Here's the weekly chart, weekly chart on the S&P. We came up, 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 up. Last week closed above major trend line when that happened. I knew that there was a chance of more follow through to the upside. We actually talked about that. Now we have open space here until we hit any sort of meaningful resistance. An area that I would be concerned with is this swing high right here coming across and we're approaching that right now. That's the 205 area on the spider or the 2050 on the S&P 500. Again, this is the weekly chart. If I go here to the monthly chart, you'll see that we've been in this nice uptrend, nice uptrend, nice uptrend, but then we start to drop here. You see, we drop, we hit support, we bounce, we failed to make a new swing high. We stopped early, we dropped back down to a support area, an equal swing low. We did these two drops, these two lower shadows. People were buying up that weakness. We do a tweezer bottom reversal pattern. We rally back higher with a hammer. Then we pop. What was interesting on this pop, okay, this is a monthly chart. And for this month so far, the month, we're only into the 20th day of the month. The question is, will this trend line close above, or will the price action close above this trend line? That is hugely important to me. This trend line, if you go back here, we have support, 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 major, major support, support broken now should act as resistance, right? Right, mentorship class, shake your head. <laughs> it should act as that. So the what I'm suspicious of, or what I'm suspect of, is with this price action that is still dynamic, it is not static yet, Will this pull back down closing below this trend line to close out the month? I think that there's a good chance of that happening. I think that we could, for the next week, it could be a pretty bearish week and that could draw back down closing just below that. So that's something that I'm watching for. I'm gonna look at something, I'm gonna show you the uh, diamonds, which is the Dow stocks here. And the thing that I wanna show you here on the diamonds is, is brutal. Rally, rally, rally. We're at major resistance here on the Dow. Resistance, we dropped. Resistance, we dropped. Resistance, we dropped. Here we're at resistance after an extended run. I mean, of course, we're gonna be, see a drop. And chances are it could be a significant drop. And I think that that could happen sooner than later. If I go over here to the weekly chart on the Dow, boom, 
right here to major resistance. I see that as being a point of contention in the markets and I see the markets dropping at this point. So it's something to be watching for. On the monthly chart on the Dow, you can see we have this triangle. It's a big bullish pennant, big bullish pennant, but we're at resistance, major resistance. So I think there's a good chance of this dropping here. So it's something that we're watching. Now I want to also take a look at the NASDAQ. Now all you guys that trade tech stocks, pay special attention to this. Here's the daily chart. We're going higher, higher, higher in this nice little mini me uptrend. But the problem is we can't get off of support here. Instead of rallying, hitting our head at resistance, we're just hitting support, 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 support. I think that we have a decent chance of this dropping lower. That's why I have this arrow. I don't know it's going to drop lower, but I think that there's a decent chance. Furthermore, we have the 100 and 200 day moving averages, or I'm sorry, yeah, 100, 200 day moving averages coming across right here, both of them acting as major resistance on this chart. If I go to the weekly chart, you'll see that we broke major support, major support. We come down, we're up, 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 but do you see the rolling over taking place right at the dropping, dropping 20 week moving average acting as resistance? I'm not even sure to get to this area of resistance before it starts to drop. I think that we're in a lot of trouble right now. Matter of fact, if I were to clone this trend line and go up here, I could see this being the new channel to the downside. If I go over here to the monthly chart, look at the monthly chart on the NASDAQ. All you tech people trading Apple, Google, just Twitter, any of the tech stuff, look at this big pop right into resistance major res we're there already so this is a major point of um, resistance on tech stocks remember tech stocks can lead the broad markets as a whole and let's matter of fact let's look at small caps take a quick look at small caps here they're looking relatively more bullish than the rest of the markets we big pop we go to a bullish pennant boom to the upside looking pretty good on the daily front if we look here to the weekly front we have a breakthrough for the week. So we had resistance. Now this is a ghost line, meaning that this is a defined trend line coming down. I cloned that. You'll see that I cloned it. Brought it up to this swing high. We broke above this area. That is relatively more bullish than it is bearish, which is not too shabby. Furthermore, we're in the downtrend, downtrend on small caps for the Russells, which is bad, bad, bad. But at this moment, we're in an up leg of the downtrend, up leg, we're lifting, we're going higher at this moment. And right here's a major area of resistance that could take place. Now, banks, very, very important that we look at this chart. Here's the banks. This will lead the broad markets as a whole. Big falling wedge, we rally higher, but now we're in a rising wedge, a little mini me rising wedge. I think that we have a good chance of dropping at this, at, at this juncture. I think this area could be very bearish. If it starts to go bearish going into next week, mark my words, it could get very bearish in quickly and draw the rest of the markets down. If I look at the weekly chart of the, of the banks, we drop, we come back, this is a beautiful, gorgeous bear pullback. You got a very, very, very nice bear pullback. You have a hanging man reversal pattern. What I'm looking for is a breakdown below 2600. And if so, you expect to get a, 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 a something like this. You're gonna have some sort of pattern like this with a down leg happening. So that's on the weekly chart. Let's look at the monthly chart. Big breakdown. If you bring in more data, you'll see that on the MACD, we have a bearish divergence, rising wedge. Of course, it's gonna break down. Of course, it's going to. And that's exactly what happened. We dropped, now we pop. We do have a little upside potential here for the month going into this month or remainder of this month or next month. We do have a little bit, but we have the 20 month moving average, um, moving averages coming in both acting as resistance. So that is problematic uh, for the markets. And I want to uh, look at a quick look at the US dollar. 
The US dollar, this is the daily chart. It's been in a lot of trouble here. It's dropping, dropping, dropping. That's I think that's one of the components helping the market stay bullish at this moment. The markets are, uh, are being helped by uh, the US dollar being bearish and if I go to the weekly chart, look how much trouble it's in. We got this big rising wedge. And the anomaly here is you, you get this big run to the upside and then you get a rising wedge. It's odd to see a big run like this. And it's, this is an anomaly chart. I've been trading 18 years and this is something that I don't see very often. But nonetheless, the rising wedge has dropped here and that's problematic on the weekly chart and on the monthly chart on the US dollar, just a huge sizable drop. We do have a little support coming up at 11,800 mark. And, and then crude oil, everybody's talking about crude oil. The monthly chart is very bullish. See this, boom, bullish. I wish I saw more volume. The month's not over with yet. It could get a lot more bullish, but that is a bullish move on the monthly chart on oil. The weekly chart on oil, we're dropping, 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 falling wedge, huge volume as capitulation. We do have a pop to the upside. The problem though, we have a falling 20 week moving average, falling 20 week moving average that is going or should act as resistance. So we could get a pullback here soon in oil and the daily chart uptrend, but we're at resistance right now and the falling 100 day moving average acting as resistance. So that could be a drop. Now for all you gold people out there, do any of you guys um, paper trade or trade uh, gold? I'm looking at my uh, mentor class right now. Any gold or silver traders, ETFs, you guys get into that yet? No, no, not yet. Okay. Um, a lot of people trade this. And uh, well, let me brag on the class here. There's several in this class who are paper trading first and took their mentoring first before they went out and lost a bunch of money, before they woke up to the fact that they needed trading or a trading mentor to help them. They actually decided to put their trading education before their trading. So kudos to this class. We had a number of them who did that. It's an anomaly. Most individuals will come to the mentorship class um, after sustaining many losses, knowing that they weren't able to trade themselves uh, without without having a trading mentor. And so the people that are able to do that sooner than later, it, that's a, a great move. But check out gold on a daily. Look at this, we come across, we hit resistance, resistance, we're at this resistance point, it's chopping around. It's kind of a high base, it's not too bad. We're not selling off, this is more bullish and is bearish, but there's a point of contention that's gotta work with. On the weekly chart, we have a falling wedge, it broke resistance, falling 20 day moving, at, oh, that's oil, hold on. Um, Gold, 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 gold. Let's get on gold. <laughs> cool. Let me make sure I did, yeah. Gold weekly, big pop. Look at this. We're falling wedge, boom, to the upside. Look for a pullback before we start looking for buy opportunities on gold. And if you look at the monthly chart, the monthly chart on gold is big time up. Boom, to the upside, we have major resistance coming across at 123.41. That's a area of resistance. Wait for a pullback on gold. And if I look at silver here, monthly chart on silver, boom, to the upside, 20 month moving average acting as resistance, but a nice move to the upside looks great. And if I go to the weekly chart here, weekly chart, we up, 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 we have resistance coming across, resistance here, resistance there again, everything's looking nice and bullish. It needs to find a little pullback before I, I'm interested in loading up to go long. And on the daily chart on silver, uh, broke a major area of resistance. So uh, maybe a pullback or at least a high base here on silver before I'm interested in buying this. And quick look here at VIX. VIX did something interesting. We are at this major area of support. VIX is a fear indicator. Fear has just been dropping, 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 dropping. We're now we're below 20 on the fear. It's just down below all major uh, moving averages. And if I look at the weekly chart on fear, look at this. We started to 
get really f- fear started to roll over and start or f- started to get really bullish fear was going to get high however on the weekly chart we drop down below an area of support we have support 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 we broke that it's telling me that Fear is very weak. There's not a lot of fear in the markets right now. And it ha- there hasn't been a lot of fear in the last month as we've been going higher. And that's really um, quite bullish to see that. And this is very rare. Usually when we have a rolling over down here like this, the lower swing lows draw on our trend lines, normally we stay above and we start to go higher. Fear would be getting very, very high here, a lot of panic in the markets. Instead, I'm seeing it drop back down like it's not really ready to start getting bearish out there in the markets yet. So um, with all this said, the markets are set up for a short-term drop in the markets. I'm expecting that to happen. If if it does, we could be set up for more long positions going into the future. But remember, watch the video a second time. Look at all these trend lines. Add them. Put your resistance and support lines in and really start to analyze this. If you're interested in our mentorship, we do them online live, as you see here with all of our beautiful students that we have and and if you we also have one in Vegas coming up go to Grok Trade click on trading mentor and and get more information on that we'll be in Vegas in a couple months so with that if you like it like it we'll catch you guys later <music>